Hit you up in the morning, hit you up in the evening God, you know that I know that, yeah, you know that I need it Yeah, I need to talk, 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 talk with you got to wanna Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is London Tay coming to you today with another video, girl. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I do the two feed-in braids on 4C hair with no heat, okay? Um, here is the products that I'm using. I'm using the Even Edge Control as well as the Shine and Jam Mousse as well as the Got TV Glue Spray, okay? So here I am just going to part her hair down the middle. So she is transitioning and her hair has been stretched out, but it has not been pressed or anything like that. So this is her natural curl pattern it's a 4c curl pattern at the roots but her hair is transitioning so at the ends it's still kind of her relaxed ends okay so she got about a three more inches of the relaxed ends to go and then after that she'll be relaxer free completely okay so this style is not going to be a super sleek style it's still going to have her natural curl pattern sh showing throughout the whole thing okay but the key is to do a protective style with limited heat heat okay so here i am just applying the product on the front the middle and the back and throughout the hair so i'm using the even edge control i'm not using the shine and jam because baby shine and jam would not be able to hold when it comes to kinkier curl patterns i'm sure you guys have noticed that it's really really hard for the shine and jam to last a long time on um thicker hair and kinkier curl patterns so that even edge control in the medium jar that gets through two or three clients usually and it has a superior hold in it allows the hair not to be greasy so once i apply the product and smooth everything, everything where i want it so to be i'm really, just going to really, go ahead really and start the braids i'm just going to start off with her hair by itself go a couple times and then i'm going to steadily feed the hair in from the left if you don't have a good grip or you mess up do not be afraid to restart okay um i'm going to do where it's like a stitch i'm not going to do the normal feed in braids where there's no stitch just because she has two braids i still want it to give it a more uniform neat look and i feel like stitch braids make everything look so so neat so like i said i'm going to just go ahead and feed hair to the left side from the left side and i'm just going to go ahead and feed hair and just continue braiding when i do start adding hair it's going to be smaller pieces when they have thicker curl patterns and things like that you want to make sure that you take your time as well as make sure everything is thoroughly 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 detangled okay um, so at the very beginning, I am going to stitch both sides, but as it gets more and more hair, I'm going to not stitch on it towards the middle. I'm going to go ahead and just stitch more so towards the ear part of both sides. Now, since I'm left-handed, I'm literally going to feed hair in from the left side on the left braid and on the right braid, okay? Because it's just easier for me to do that. I haven't learned and feel comfortable really too much for feeding hair on the right side. I can do it. I just do not feel comfortable. I feel more confident when I am feeding in from my dominant hand side, which is the left side, okay? So I'm just going to use a comb to create that stitch. And then I'm just going to keep on adding that stitch and braid to the other side. Use the comb to add that stitch. And honestly, the comb also works as well because it allows me to gather all the hair up. Even the hair that may be not acting right and things like that. So it's kind of like it stitches it, but at the same time, it's combing it in place, if that makes sense. So that's why I like the comb method better than like the finger method because it gives more uniform results and it allows you to have more control over the hair while you are stitching. So I'm just literally going to stitch, grab the hair, detangle, go to the right, stitch, grab the hair, detangle, go to the left. And then when I feel comfortable adding hair, I'm going to go ahead and start adding the braiding hair. Usually I add a small piece at a time until I get more and more throughout the braid. And then I start adding bigger pieces, okay? Um, after I'm done with both sides, I, all I'm using is that even, that even edge control. When I am done, I'm going to set both sides with the mousse. Okay, and then I'm going to set it with the Got To Be Loose spray and tie it down. Now, one great thing I noticed that with using the Even Edge Control and not using the Shine and Jam this time, whenever I was done with the braids, um, the Even Edge Control gave me more 
gave me more resistance. Like, it helped me grip more. I feel like with the Shine and Jam, it can get really, really smooth and greasy. But I feel like when it came to the even edge control, it allowed me to grip the hair way, way, way better. So, guys, I'm honestly steering away heavily from the Shine and Jam because I use the even edge control and even the style factor when I do fit, stitch feed and braids and things like that. And, guys, it just gives me way more grip okay so i just feel like whenever you're doing stitch braids you are able to grip the hair better and i think that's what makes everything look neat i feel like when everything is greasy and you can't grip as well then everything there's folds in the stitch and everything doesn't look as streamlined if that makes sense um i know that there's going to be some some points of the braid like right here you see a couple imperfections but guys i'm going to get that squared away when i am completely finished whenever you do have those little folds and things like that you can always just smooth it into the braid with the with the rat tail part of the comb okay also towards the end i'm going to show you guys how i create like bomb pictures for instagram and facebook and that allows me heavily to help people find my page that's in my city and also you know pictures really matter guys pictures and videos you always want to make sure you get really good pictures and videos um and good angles so like i said i'm going to show you guys how i get good pictures and my angles and how i kind of just you know take pictures so i hope you guys enjoyed this video just go ahead and continue watching and i will talk to y'all at the end i will let you guys see how i take the pictures when it comes to social media and things like that but guys i think this this hair turned out pretty well especially when it comes to using no heat yeah guys so um all she did was really just wet her hair really good after she shampooed it and stuff like that and then tied it tied it and stretched it out okay but yeah there wasn't no flat iron or anything like that when it came to this style right so like i said it's okay to have a little bit of imperfections but um Anything that you kind of don't necessarily like the look of, you can always just fix after you're done, okay? Everything going on inside, everything that I'm trying to hide, everything I've been trying to fight, everything. So reposture my heart, reposture my mind. To know this connection is a blessing This connection is divine This connection is a blessing That you never press the climb Gotta hit you up in the morning Hit you up in the evening God, you know that I know that Yeah, you know that I need it Yeah, I need to talk, 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 talk That's why I your line, I gotta keep in touch, yeah Pick up the phone, I'm here alone And I need the one that sits on the throne You know just what I need Before I say a thing You know just what I need But you still just wanna talk to me Gotta hit you up in the morning Hit you up in the evening God, you know that I know that Yeah, you know that I need it Yeah, I need to talk, talk, talk
y'all so basically i am done i went ahead and tied her hair down with some wrap strips and i blow dried it on high for about five to seven minutes once i am done i basically i'm done with the style so here i am i'm using my iphone up 12 to take pictures i'm going to take some pictures vertically and some pictures horizontally the pictures i'm taking horizontally and videos i'm taking horizontally is for youtube and then the pictures for instagram those are going to be um vertical as well as videos that i take vertical those are going to be for like reels and tiktoks and things like that okay so make sure you put your video your lighting like your ring light on high guys and make sure you know you get all the angles and all the good lighting and things like that um so yeah guys so this is basically how i do my pictures and videos hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i will talk to you guys in my next video love y'all bye Hit you up in the morning.